So let's take a look at uh, a couple of hives that are weak. You know, oftentimes I get asked, you know, how do you keep records um, for in your bee yards? You know, if you've got lots of hives, how do you how do you keep records? How do you know what's weak, what we need to work, etc. And uh, you can see these two hives. They've got orange spray paint on the inside corners of the lid, and then this one has some red spray paint on it as well. So that's often how we keep track of what's going on in our hives. You know, in the numbers and the, the, the colors change every year, but you know, this year if we have a hive uh, that is a little bit on the weaker side, then we'll put an orange dot of spray paint on it to let us know, hey, something's up. This hive needs some more time before it can be split or needs more time before it can be sold. Now maybe it needs some brood added, maybe it needs a queen added. And so we know to go back and check those hives and fix them. If we don't have spray paint with us, uh, our highly sophisticated marking system looks like uh, this. You get some uh, grass and dirt with your hive tool and put it on the lid. And <laughs> that's, our, uh, that's one of our highly sophisticated ways. Um, and then we actually do have uh, Excel, or well, not Excel, we use Google Sheets. And we have some shared spreadsheets for each bee yard um, that each crew member will kind of fill out when they're done with the bee yard that says, hey, you know, here's the date, here's the number of hives in this yard, here's what I did, um, so that the whole company can kind of share those spreadsheets uh, or, or see them all on our Google Drive and, and know what needs to be done on a broad level in each bee yard. But on a hive by hive basis, we usually just mark somehow each hive and we know, hey, this color means this, this color means this, etc. So anyway, I've got some orange dots here. I don't know why. Um, so we're gonna take a quick look and see if we can tell you know, why these were marked as orange dots. So when I take the lid off this hive, I can see the population is a little bit on the light side. Um, I'm going to take a look at the bottom. Okay, so the bottom box is completely empty. So no bees, nothing going on in the bottom box at all. So um, population's pretty low for this time of year. I've got about four frames of bees in the middle of the top box. Um, so let's see what they've got going on inside. All right, so I've got a good frame of honey. Um, so this is just a, a frame of honey left over from last winter. So I'm gonna go a little further and see. Okay, so I've got some brood, a little bit of cat brood. I do see eggs, so I know we've got a queen. So it looks like this hive lost their queen at some point over the past couple of months. And they have just recently raised a new queen. And so that's why they're so behind on strength because, you know, they've lost their queen and the, the new queen is just starting to lay. But if you look um, right here where my finger is, you can see there is a, uh, that queen cell that has hatched. And so hopefully you can see that okay. You can see there was a queen cell here. And if you look, see how the opening of that queen cell is kind of featheredy? Um, you can tell that that queen actually chewed her way out of that queen cell. And the, just the tip of it is open and it's kind of feathered. Um, that's exactly what we want to see. If that queen cell were just like chewed out from the side and the cap wasn't off of it, then the bees probably chewed it out and she may not have hatched. But when I see that feathered, uh, kind of that feathered opening, I know that the queen did successfully hatch. So this hive, they've got a new queen. Um, she's just starting to lay, but they're just behind in strength. And so for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this hive alone. It's one I will not be able to split out of, um, but I will just leave them be. I'll probably give them a little bit of food and I'll probably give them They've only got about one or two frames of eggs, and so I'll probably give them a frame of brood from one of my stronger hives to boost up their strength a little bit. But other than that, I'll just leave them be, and they'll, they'll probably make a honey crop. Uh, they're just not ready to make splits. 